Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, gonna rip open some of the Tops rip cards. These were an online exclusive from Tops. You get four rip cards in here. You probably have seen some videos. I've ripped some on my channel during a live break, uh, but a very cool card. Rip cards are one of my favorite things to open in all of the hobby. I just think they're a brilliant idea. Um, the odds on these are actually pretty good. So that so here's the deal on these. You open up the card and then the cards will be numbered. Um, however, you can rip the card open and try and get an even better mini card, which is inside the bigger card. So if you're not familiar with, with rip cards, that's how they work. Um, our odds on this, pretty good. Um, so you can get base rip card parallels of purple one of two green one of four blue one of five gold one of ten red and then the mini base parallels you've got magenta purple green blue gold um and so what you're really looking for are so, um, some of these image variation cards some of the mini autograph parallels so you can get some mini cards that are autographed in here so we'll see what we can get out of here and we'll see which ones i decide to rip and which ones i decide to keep now, knowing me, I'm probably going to rip them all, but you never know. If I hit a one of one, there's no way I'm ripping it, but we'll see. Do we dare to tear? I'll... Now, my personal opinion on the design of these is the design, I think, could have been a little bit cooler. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Um, but the fact that I think these went for about $100 online um they're going for a little bit more right now so we'll see what we can get out of here our first one is going to be in fact we'll do it like this our first one is going to be mr timmy lincecum tim lincecum this one is numbered 67 out of 99. here's what the back looks like Genuine rip card from 2020 Tops Rip Baseball. The fate of this card is in your hands, and as inside lies an exclusive mini trading card that could be one of the following an exclusive mini base card, an exclusive image variation base card, or an exclusive mini autograph card. Tear if you dare. Now, Tim Lincecum, not a Giants fan. Tim Lincecum, not a Hall of Famer. Don't think he'll be a Hall of Famer. Tim Lincecum to 99. We're going to rip you. We're going to rip you. Now, the neat thing is, is if you rip it, if you rip it nice enough or without tearing it up too much, you still can get the front of the card and it's not like the end of the world. Obviously, the card won't hold as much value. Uh, you could try and get it graded, which might be hilarious. Um, however, so here's how it rips. You're just going to pull this down and if it tears right, it will tear all the way to the bottom. And it looks like we're going to get an Ozzy Smith as the card that is inside. So we trade Tim Lincecum for an Ozzy Smith. Now, the next question is, is what is the Ozzy Smith going to be numbered to? So let's open that up and see if we can find out. And the Ozzy Smith is going to be numbered 8 out of 50. So we get an Ozzy Smith 8 out of 50. So trading up to a Hall of Famer, we got Ozzy Smith, 8 out of 50, coming from the Tim Lincecum. So on our first one, I would say we made the right choice to rip, but we never know unless we actually rip them all. So here comes the next one. Next card. Now this one might be a little bit more difficult. We have a Christian Yelich. This is numbered 62 out of 99. And Christian Yelich is a Brewer. I am not a Brewers fan. I think I'm going to choose to rip, 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 rip. All right, so let's rip Christian Yelich. It's going to take a lot for me not to rip him, I'll be honest. So let's see. I'm going to do this, and let's see if we can guess the player underneath. So far, uh, is this, I think this is going to be Rod Carew. So let's see. So we've got a Christian Yelich to 99. And we'll see what is in underneath. I believe it's Rod Carew. But then the question is, is what is the Rod Carew numbered to? So the one thing is you can find some of these. Uh, and so this will be Rod Carew on the twins. And this one will be numbered 15 
out of 40. So as we look at this, this will be the, I'm assuming this is the, when we look at the mini base parallels, magenta, one of two, purple, green, blue. I believe this is, see, this is the thing I can't tell. What the Ozzy Smith is the 50. I'm assuming that's the magenta. So is this the purple? I don't know. It looks black to me. However, um, I don't know. I don't know. But we have a Rod Carew, 15 out of 40. So we trade Christian Yelich for another Hall of Famer, lower numbered card. So I would say we're two for two on the rips. So we get the Rod Carew on the Twins. So we've got Ozzy. We'll move here. Let's move these like this. We can do this. So we got Tim Lincecum. Christian Yelich is the other rip card. And then we now are going to get to two parallel cards. So the choice to rip is going to become a little bit more difficult here. So our third card will be a Jose Altuve number 10 out of 50. So this is a black border parallel or um, what's interesting is they say purple green. So it must be this. I don't know. No, that is a black or are they calling that purple? Um, but that is a purple. I'm assuming that's purple. It's got to be purple. 10 out of 50, Jose Altuve. So let's, let's, do we rip it? Do we rip it? Let's go ahead and rip it. I'm going to rip it because it is Jose Altuve. And the worst it would be underneath here is a buzzer. Hiding underneath Jose Altuve's card. So we'll see what we get here. But let's go ahead. Um, I don't think I got it all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This card's going to be tough to rip. So, um, all right. So as we look at this, we really want it. There we go. All right. And this card is did not rip very well at all, which makes me nervous because I don't want to ruin the card underneath. So then the question becomes, how do we get this to tear? See, now we're really going to tear the card up. So let's see here. Who do we have? We have an Oriole, and I believe this is going to be Mr. Tom Seaver. So a very nice, another Hall of Famer underneath. And we'll see what this one is going to be number two. So we had a Jose Altuve to 50, and we end up with a Jim Palmer numbered 44 out of 50. So I still believe we made out on that one. Um, I still believe that was the better of the two cards. Um, I'll take a Jim Palmer over a Jose Altuve, but they were numbered both to 50. So a little bit closer there. And I think the decision is going to get a little bit harder right now. So there's the Jose Altuve. And finally, we get a green Walker Bueller numbered one out of 15. So this one, pretty hard decision here because a green to 15 is not a bad, not bad at all. That's a one out of 50, and it's a one out of 15. So this is a card that as it stands alone, a very nice card. So do we rip it? I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because I'm making a video. Um, however, this one, I'm going to bet that the card underneath is not quite as good as the card that I have. However, you never know. So that's why we rip them. And let's see what we get. It looks like we're going to get a Vlad Guerrero. Nothing autographed. So I don't see any autographs on these. Um, I believe the autographs are not that hard to pull. Um, but see what we get here many autograph parallels so you can get an autograph one out of nine so we get a blue vladi guerrero and it is not numbered this is an image variation you have received an exclusive um mini base card so this one may not even mini base parallel magenta so this i think is just a base this might be an image variation though. Not sure, but if it's a mini base image variation, it's actually only one out of two. So 
This one, we definitely, definitely failed on. And on top of that, this card has a little bit of a scratch on it up here. So the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. comes from the Walker Bueller. Kind of knew that we probably shouldn't rip a 215 Walker Bueller, especially it being 1 out of 15, but thought it would be fun for the video. So you guys, throw it first. Let me know what you think about Topps Rip. Let me know what you think about Rip cards. Do you think these ones are as good as the ones that are from Allen and Ginter? I like the Allen and Ginter ones more. I feel like they're just a little bit more... They're, they're a little bit more, they're harder to find, um, and just a little bit, um, more, there's a little bit more panache to them, if you will. So throw over to first, hit that like button, comment below, and let me know what you think about the rip cards. Um, hope you guys are having good luck on your personal pack polls. Hope you are being good to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors. And until next time, take care.